Howdy, howdy, it's Dylan, lifetime tinkerer of random things. I want to take y'all a minute to show you this beautiful 1965 Ford Galaxy. A buddy of mine went and picked up late last night. We went and got it from deep, deep, deep backwoods, West Virginia. Towed it back. Horrible time, but we got it here. It looks pretty sweet. I'm going to go through it, try to learn how to work on cars, paint it up, fix the stuff that's wrong with it, make it cool, and see what we can do with it. So we're going to start here at the front end because I just absolutely love this front end here. Really glad to see still got the hood ornament intact. Most of our emblems are intact. This little trim bezel thing is gone. Chrome needs polished. I mean for 60 years old almost. This thing's in great shape. I mean the paint. I'm sure... Once we clean it up, we'll be able to see more of that. It's filthy right now, but I, I, you know, I can still see the mica in it. Looks like we're missing this trimming around here. This is this is horrible. This is a hack job, but it's okay. I'm a hack too. Just gonna try to be a little bit better hack than that. Got the 352 in it. I did notice? Looks like previous owner. Left us a needle, Brock. That's a plus. You know, the car has some issues. Obviously, it's 60 years old. It's been whacked by a tree. Very, very poorly repaired. Bondo special. No sanding. Spray paint. But I could take care of that. Looks like some action right there, but... You know, my plans for it, I was thinking I would probably uh, paint it black. I'm going to end up thinking paint it black, paint it matte black, put some black wheels on it. I think it would look great with this interior you're going to see in a minute. Left the chrome pieces and trimmings and whatnot. That's a plus. That's a plus. So this is the whole reason I drove, you know, 12 hours to get this car. This red interior here looks like this previous. It looks like it was redone at some point from the previous owner. At least the one before the guy that I had, I got it from. He he didn't put it in here. He bought it with kind of the same intentions that I have, and it was just one of many projects for him. Decided to move on from it. So. I personally think with that red, matte black, be real hot. But you know, when I get up on this paint and I see how good some of it is, it, it kind of makes me want to try to just fix this and, and color match it the best I can. But you know, the most important thing we need to do is uh, is get it jumped, get it running, oil change, and all that fun stuff. It hasn't been regularly driven in I think he said six years, so. We're going to get into it and see what we can figure out. Alright guys, so we got the old roly-poly trying to charge this up for us. I'm going to go, go on in and try to turn it over, see if it'll make some noise. That is beautiful. Look at that massive steering wheel. We've got lights, camera. Action. Ah. It's carbureted. I need some juice. Son of a bitch. Look at it go. Oh, I didn't notice that. You got this janky little stereo ad. That's okay. We'll fix that. Alright, give her. I can tell it wants to live. I've got no fuel in here. So, I'm going to run up to the gas station, get us some fresh fuel, see if I can make it live. Okay, so we got in a little fuel in her now. Let's see if it'll turn over for us. Ah, not enough juice. Might need to uh, put the roller back on it. Okay, we got some volts in here. Let's try it again. Mm. 
Make sure I got a good connection. I'll give that just a second. So, looking at it closer, it looks like this car has just definitely been repainted, which uh, makes sense. I didn't think they were using mica in the 60s, but I don't know a ton about cars. Well, I know they were using mica, but like on economy cars, everyday cars, and everything like that, I assume I thought they used single stage enamels. Um, but I mean, it looks like it's been repainted. Uh, we've got a lot of action going on in here, a lot of stuff that I see. Looked like it was taped off, like not at the factory, more of just a maybe a home job or like a halfway decent pay job. I mean, it's not a horrible paint job. Um, it's a little aged. It is showing some signs of distress throughout it, but I mean, for what we've got here, I mean, it, this this here, this is the worst of it right here. Tree whacked it. It's 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 not pretty, but you know. Headliner's already gone, so I uh, should be able to get in and beat that out pretty fair, and uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do with the headliner situation. I mean, if I stick with the, the, the black theme, we'll black, black, red, maybe some black seat, or some red seat belts. That'd look pretty hot. I'll have to do this. Fresh dash. That's eating up pretty good, but it yeah, has to be expected. Um, you know, overall, I'm pretty happy with what I got here. It looks like somebody really cared for this car at one point, and then at some point it either just became a low priority, or maybe that tree thing happened with them, and they just were over it by that point. Who knows? But I mean, God, look at this! I, I love these doors. Love the love the way these open. I haven't looked in here yet. We got any goodies? Some gorilla tape. 2009. Cool. Mako, there we go. That's the culprit. Paid $874 to have it painted in. I know we got a date somewhere on here. February 12th, 2010. So, we got a 12 year old paint job from Mako. Cost 900 bucks. I mean, all things considered, I can't really complain. Fair enough. That, though. Somebody should have watched a few more videos before they tried that. That was bad. Alright, let's try you again. Give it to me, baby. Uh, give it to me, 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 baby. You have life, you want to live, I can tell. Come on, baby, come on. It's not staying going. Let's try it again, just for good measure. Okay. So, seems like we're just not getting the proper amount of fuel, because it's firing up, it's turning over, things are moving. Uh, looks like my gauge moved a little, so I think that works. Maybe we need to put more in there, but I think we got something good to work with here. I think we got something really good to work with. With I'm pretty excited. Alright, so the first thing I want to try to do to get this thing going um, is replace this filter, this line, because this one is leaking pretty good. We got a lot of sediment here. So I'm hoping that the uh, the re-added pressure and you know free breathing is going to let this thing run. I'm going to go ahead and order a rebuild kit. Uh, looks like somebody put the Edelbrock AVS2 in it. That's a plus, I think. Uh, so I'm going to order a rebuild kit for it. It looks clean, but uh, yeah, it might have been sitting for the past 11 years. Um, we're going to put that back together and see how this goes. Hopefully we can get her going today. Okay, so we've got our certified snap-on tools here. 
Yeah. Cut this up first, and then we'll take everything off. Right here. Clean as a whistle. Am I that stupid? Oh, there we go. Yeah, apparently. And you go. So, we go ahead and take these all apart here. job. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you can see this. We've got a pretty substantial amount of settlement going on down there. So I'm hoping that changing this out is going to change. Make a difference for us. Are we finna see? Right, so something I was told I should check is there's another little filter that, that goes on right in here so we're gonna pop this out and see if I see anything ugly uh, I don't see a filter means I'm just not Alright, so we got a little fuel filter in here that's sitting the wrong way. How do we get to you? We're gonna, we're gonna get you out of there. Well, that's weird. Why are you sitting like that? Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and slap this thing back together and hope that with its new ability to gain fuel, it's going to let us ride. However, I was talking to my uncle on the phone, very real problem we might be dealing with here is rust in the gas tank. That might be why that, that brand new filter, brand new looking filter we had earlier uh, had some gunk in it. So, we know if it floods with gunk again, that's going to be the case. Um, if that is, we buy a new one, we put a new gas tank in it, and uh, Dylan learns how to do a gas tank. Good enough. So, first we go boom. I'll get back here, you <sighs> uh, 
we'll take you off this soon. Good, uh, good job, Dylan. Good job. If you can't tell already, I don't know what I'm doing, and I have little to no foresight. Kind of like you might expect from somebody who goes 300 miles away to buy a car that barely runs and moves under its own power. And they don't know anything about fixing cars yet. But, I got a basic set of knowledge, access to YouTube, some tools. We think we can figure it out. At least I hope we can. Strong as straw. Let's go, baby. Ooh. I'm gonna do a little slappy slew here. Get this together. And hope, hope that it will breathe for us. That's the idea, anyway. I don't need that much over. Oh no, you weren't supposed to do that. Okay. Now watch that for me. I'm going to go try to start it, make sure it doesn't explode. Let's try her again. See what she says.
throttle hooks up to carb. Underneath is a, to just idle. Turn clockwise. Okay, so next thing I've been advised to try is now that we've you know replaced the lines, we don't seem to have any you know any more sediment, so I don't think our, our tank is gonna be an issue. Um, but it still just refuses to run when we take our foot off the gas. So I've been advised to uh, let's turn this clockwise, turn up the idle until it runs. So we're gonna give that a shot, see if it'll listen to me. Quarter turns at the time, it seems safe. Shot? Oh, that's on me. Okay. Alright, we got the ruskies on it. Watch it for me, make sure it don't blow up, okay? Maybe I'm just a wishful thinker, but it sounded like it wanted. It sounded like it really wanted to, you know what I mean? So, give it another go around. See if that makes a difference. don't know why I should stop, so I'm going to do, if it doesn't go after this one, I'm going to do it one more time, and then I'm going to call somebody and make sure I'm not screwing something up. Ooh. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to kick you, fellas. Yeah, so I don't think we're making a difference. We're going to hit it one more time anyway, just for good measure. And then I'm going to call somebody and see what they think about the situation. No difference. Let's phone a friend. Alright, so he says keep it going. So we're just going to send it. He said we'll get there. We're going to see what that does for it. Speak magic.
I like it better. You're nice. I want to drive you today. Let's see what we're changing. That little smoky smoke. Alright guys, so doesn't look like we're going to get to take it on the first drive today. I was really hoping we'd get to. Uh, I got it adjusted. It was idling good. Everything's cool. Now we've got a little no start issue. Getting no click at all. Um, but I'm getting hungry. I've got some other stuff to do. So I'm going to wrap it up for now. And... Uh, Hopefully we can get it done tomorrow and take it out on its first ride.